Look, um, so some of the things that we do in terms of like just routine maintenance, right? We always check and setups, right? Now, I'm definitely moving away from these clasps. I'm definitely moving away from these clasps. I've seen that the dogs, the larger they are, the worse that they are, right? I've seen that if the dog lays down on these a certain way, they will come undone, especially the larger ones. So the big heavy duty ones, I don't, I don't even recommend. And if you can replace these, I would definitely replace them, right? So that's that. Um, the other thing you checking, just making sure, right? That they firm, firmly tethered. Making sure that they firmly tethered. That's the other thing you checking. <laughs> then you're gonna check stool. Stool volume and stool quality, right? Now it's a little tough to make sure that there's no worms coming out of this stuff, but usually when it's solid and it's firm like that, you 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 can trust, right? That there's no, you know what I mean? Like like the dog is is worm free, and you still you know you still doing your monthly maintenance on uh, uh in terms of parasite treatments and so forth, right? So that's that part, right? You have the Tata dog, right? And so. This is her chain setup. You guys have seen them from past videos. Um, Tata likes kisses, so y'all gotta forgive her. But the whole thing being that uh, you wanna make sure and check that these, these pins on these horseshoes are tight, right? So these little horseshoe setups I have, have pins that screw in, and we just make sure that they're very tight also check to make sure that her collar is uh reasonably tight on her head and that it can't just come right off because these little pencil neck dogs do have that tendency i've even had fat fat do it and uh she's not exactly what you would call a pencil neck dog then we get over here to this this i don't like i don't like because she just did that right so it's time for her to get dewormed and all of that anyway but uh we shouldn't see that in fact that looks more like something she regurgitated than something that came out of her back end because that's her stool there so yeah gotta watch this one gotta watch this one She's doing a whole lot too much to my taste at times but that's part of the thing with these dogs. Now we've already kind of swept his stuff up from out of his chain spot, but you know, same deal here. You know what I mean? And we're gonna be trying to get some anti but solo. Calm down, man. Calm down. We're gonna be trying to get some uh antibiotics in him. So uh Primarily, we just checking that chain setup. That's what we mainly concerned about. Make sure that everybody's properly tethered. We ain't got no issues. Um, yeah, so that's that part of it. I'm gonna go ahead and finish with this clean up. Get them fed up. Just clean up and feed up. And, uh, I got any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section below